You may have seen this video by Taryn Van Hemert uh, about creating a preset that uh, copies and pastes selected clips so you can reuse them at any moment in time. The problem with this script is you have to download a thing called Inside Clipboard and it's a pain in the butt to set up and I didn't feel like doing that. And even in this video, he says that the code doesn't work super well. I think it got updated in 2017, but I haven't checked that out yet. I just wanted to get this working and I wanted to um, share it with you. There is a tool by this gentleman named Seven Side where you don't have to use Inside Clipboard. You can just use the Premiere API itself. As far as I understand it, I don't know anything about programming. Uh, so that's just as far as I understand it. So it utilizes auto hotkey, so you will need that. And then in order to make it better, I also have Excalibur. Let's go through an example here. I'll show you what I have first. So I have this bound to tab on my second keyboard. There's a bunch of fancy things. And at the very top of my 28 <laughs> layer video, I have this uh, highlight effect that just gets applied automatically. I also use this adjustment layer that I use quite often. It takes a little bit. So you need your auto hotkey script. I assume you have other auto hotkey stuff if you're watching this. If not, go watch Taryn's auto hotkey tutorial video. The link for all of this stuff is like in the description, so go check it out. Um, so we're gonna go here under Premiere Clipboard, under Usage, we're just gonna click on Release. And here it is. And there's also source codes available, so if you want to alter it in any way and it downloads the zip, unzip the zip. I'm not going to do that because I have already have it done. And you will get uh, this .exe somewhere. Uh, what I recommend is going into your C folder or wherever uh, on your desktop somewhere and making a folder called Premiere Clipboard or really whatever you want. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, and then put Premiere Clipboard.exe in it and also make a separate folder called clipboards or copies or whatever clips. Uh, you can see I have some uh, right here already done, but we're gonna do another one. So this is the clip I'm going to copy. So I knew I wanted to protect fake out and psychics and- uh, This is just this grainy background with this uh, posterized time effect on it. So we're going to hit control C and then we're going to click F8, which I have bound to save Premiere Clipboard function that works with the Premiere Clipboard.exe. You can bind this to whatever you want, but you will need something bound to get this to work. You can go through the command line. I couldn't get it to work. If you just double click Premiere Clipboard.exe, you can just access it right through the command console. You can also, if you want to, copy multiple things and have it be one pasteable clip. Uh, but I don't need that right now. I'm just going to take this paper background, hit F8. Uh, so what happened there is I forgot to change the name of the file I'm going to be saving to. Thankfully, it does not overwrite ones you've already saved. So that's nice. So we're going to copy, hit F8. It is now saved and you can even see it in this folder, paper, background, now saved. So I just bound it to you on my second keyboard. So I'm going to move over here just so we can make sure it works. I'm going to scroll it to the top. There's a bunch of things. And there we go. Our clip. Normally this will paste to the bottom. So uh, if I just hit paste now, it's already saved into our Premiere clipboard. And if you just paste it, paste it here. Or if you want to, you can do, uh, let's say cut this in half. We want it here and we don't want it to overwrite anything. You can control shift V and I'll also put it there. Uh, you can adjust the script however you want, but I use uh, Excalibur and it has a function called paste on highest layer. So when we click paste on highest layer, it'll go to the highest active layer. Now Premiere actually has an option where if you load a video into your source monitor and you drag it over to your program monitor, there's a bunch of different options here you can do overlay, which if you do on top of other video clips, it'll just put it right on top. I don't know why there's no hotkey for this. There should be a hotkey for this. This is super useful and super helpful, especially when you're like me and you make city skyscrapers out of your timeline. What they should also have is a paste overlay function where it just puts whatever you're pasting just, just right on top. I don't feel like deselecting all 28 layers and then clicking one paste 
and then reselecting all of my layers. Maybe I don't even need the ones up here, right? I don't want to have to do that every time. So pasting to the highest active layer is basically the best option that we have available currently, unless you know, you're doing what I do and build the city of Gotham within your timeline, right? So this code is in two parts and I'll show you how it works. This right here is you need a save Premiere clipboard and then a clip name function. And it's just one line of code. I'm not a programmer. I don't know what this means. I just know it works. The forward C and then the path to your Premiere clipboard.exe. Then you run the save command, which if you go back to this page, uh, he explains what each of these do. There's a save, a load, and a fill. We'll get to load and fill later. Minus minus save, and then where you want to save it to, and then the name of the clip. And then I have this bound to F8, save from your clipboard, paper background, and then you add return. One important thing, there cannot be a space in this name. You have to do underscores. If you do spaces, it won't work. It will not save it. And then you go to your clipboards, a uh, folder that you made earlier and we can confirm it's right there. Yeah, paper clipboard. And you can see here all of the clipboard save presets I've made already. I have like seven or eight of them all bound to my second keyboard. And look, oh look, here's the one we made right now. Oh, I have a space here, that's weird. Uh, it still worked though. Uh, and you need to make sure these are named the same exact thing as they are in the folder. And we're using the load premiere clipboard function, which, uh, where did I put that? Uh, down here. So you activate Premiere Pro, you block mouse movement and input. You should probably block keyboard input at that point too. So this is not optimized. This is not an optimized version. You can go to Taryn's uh, second video here, how to get inside, .clip, inside clipboard.exe working. All of his scripts have like little adjustments uh, that just make this work a little better. So I'm gonna go through that at some point. Uh, but I have limited time to do this video right now, so I just wanted to get it done. Then you run wait com spec forward slash C, and that's your clipboard.exe file, and then you're going to fill it. So minus minus fill. And what that does is it loads the Premiere clipboard with some random gibberish. There's a bug in Premiere. I ran into a couple times where it won't like reload a new clipboard. This basically fixes it and it does just some weird stuff. So you have to fill it and basically you alt tab uh, out and then back into Premiere and it should reload and make everything work correct. Even, th this isn't even my comment, <laughs> uh, this is a known bug. So if you have any way to fix this. And also, I played with this number, 200 milliseconds is about the limit, you can sleep here. Uh, if you go any lower than that, it starts doing weird things and typing into other programs, which you don't want to do. Uh, you can get rid of this, however, you will run, run into the bug occasionally. There's another bug I've run into, I don't know if it's the same one, where I have to open the f directory to where my files are being stored, my clipboard fi files are, when I boot up my computer. I don't know why, but that is a thing. So just something to be aware of. Then it's going to run again, Premiere Clipboard.exe, it's going to load your clip name, it deselects everything on the timeline. Uh, this is paste, but for me this is paste to highest layer. So that's what it does. Uh, and then you're supposed to do control shift A, which normally deselects everything on the timeline, but for some reason it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I've tried setting this sleep to a very high number and it just still didn't work. And then you just bring back mouse and keyboard control and that's it. It's a really simple script. When you're filling this out, make sure you change the directories on all of these C colon forward backslash lines. They need to be changed to something wherever you put your clipboard.exe folder. And now you can make a bunch of uh, things all the time. Uh, that Well, that one didn't work. Why did that one not work? There we go. They just kind of go a little bit slowly. If there's any way to make these faster, that'd be greatly appreciated if you could leave a comment or if there's a bug that you've noticed and you have a fix for it, also feel free to leave it in the comments. But look, there's a bunch of them. And you can also do multiple. So if you wanted to stack these all up into like a fancy little pyramid, you could, and you could save that as a preset and then copy paste it. And that's, I think, where the power of this comes in to play the most. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.